My name is Brianna Davey. In this year's Sprung, I was cast and set for Forget Me Not, an on-stage production. In Forget Me Not, I portrayed Alison, who was getting together with a few of her friends to put on a show for her friend Sarah. What she didn't know was that it was Sarah's funeral. So that was quite an interesting spin. <laughs> I was really excited about the role. I haven't really been cast before, but I was really excited to see the director in action. I want to be a director myself, so I wanted to be on the receiving end of that. As a cast member, it was really important to be at all rehearsals, to be taking notes, to be paying attention. I think out of all rehearsals, I missed one uh, because of second year show. It was a very small cast. There was only five of us, four mains. I was one of the four mains. I had two roles. So I was Alison and I was also Time. Time was portrayed as a bit of a creature. So it wasn't a realistic character where Alison was very realistic. She, it was day to day life in all of her scenes. Being part of a show is very collaborative. It's very important to be a team player, especially when you are cast. The show really relies on you. You really have to give it your all. There's no show without a dedicated cast. We, with the director, we did a lot of viewpoints. That was my director's way of guiding us through the process of the show. Um, which I originally found really helpful, especially with my character Time. I, I didn't find it helpful much at all with my realistic character Alison. Um, so I had to do some research of my, for myself, so I went to Stanislavski uh, because I was really struggling with understanding what my character was really about, what kind of person she was. I was getting a lot of mixed messages about what kind of person she was and a lot of things that I tried were shot down but we ended up with quite a good character with a great relationship with the other cast members. So I had a journal that I wrote in almost every rehearsal. I wrote about discoveries, moments, observations, uh, we did a lot of flows so I wrote about that quite a bit wrote about my character, my relationships with the other characters. When we got feedback from another director, so say, she, it, I found that very helpful. I could understand what she meant. It was a lot clearer. So that was really helpful when we got to have her come and see our performance. So I tried to be present in all rehearsals, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. I found it really important to always have a positive vibe in the rehearsal space. Um, it was it became quite difficult when cast members would not attend rehearsals or would not give it their all. They would not attend and because it was such a small cast, it was really hard to work on scenes, um, work on like connection and kinesthetic response between one another. So that really, I think that really got in the way of the show and it was very hard to stay positive and ignore that it wasn't really annoying. <laughs> so yeah, that was definitely a learning curve, trying to keep professional, dealing with people that care, don't care as much as I do, um, don't stress about the importance of something as much as I do but I did end up finding it quite easy to stay professional in those circumstances. A big obstacle for me was um, articulation and projection. Um, I've never been vocally loud and so that was something I really needed to work on. I had to work on it quite a bit in my own time as uh, we didn't work on it during rehearsals. It was suggested to us that we should do some vocal warm-ups before the show. Our director, however, did not know how to do that, so we didn't do that for a little bit. Um, so I definitely took that on board, how important vocal warm-ups are. As the director, um, I think it's really important to never leave any of your cast or crew in the dark. 
So I, I definitely learned a lot through being cast on how to be, how I would like to be a director in the future. I, I realized how important the vibe in a rehearsal space is. It needs to be positive and upbeat. Um, it does need to be organized, but it's very important to understand that something organized isn't always going to stay organized. Um, being understandable that people will be sick. I think it's really important to have a go at being cast. Um, very hard to go on stage and be somebody else, especially when you don't understand the character. Um, so I think it's really important for a director to help with that process, to really guide that process and do as much as they can. Um, because acting is not easy. And I always knew that, but I definitely know it now more than anything else. As a cast member, you do have to do a lot of research and work behind the scenes with yourself. Um, it's not all on the director, but it's very important to come into a rehearsal space ready to work with that energy, which is, which is hard to keep up. You're a mentor and a guide as a director. You're there to make things clear so important for a cast to understand what they're doing, to understand the script, to understand the role, to understand the character. That has to be made so brutally clear by the director, which is really hard to do, but the cast relies on that. If I was to give advice to anybody becoming a cast member, you have to keep in mind that the rehearsal space is not the only time that you work on your character, on your role. There is so much time and effort that goes into it out of the rehearsal space, so then you can go into the rehearsal space with an open mind. Uh, so you can go into the rehearsal space ready to work. Just talk to your director as much as possible. Get the clearest understanding you can constantly because your character will develop over time. 